A man was shot and killed by Metro Police last night after shooting at them around 8 o'clock. This happened at the Days Inn on Percy Priest Drive in Donaldson, not far from I-40. This happened as the police department's SWAT team was attempting to serve a warrant. 47-year-old Adrian Cameron, who was shot, was believed to have had critical information about a recent homicide case. News Channel 5's Amelia Young is where the shooting happened at the Days Inn. So, Amelia, what information exactly did officers believe he had? Hey, good morning, Jennifer. Well, Metro Police believe that Cameron had information about a homicide involving 50-year-old Josh Evans. His body was recovered earlier this week from the Cumberland River. He had been shot and killed. They believe that Cameron didn't commit that crime, but did have information um, as to who may have been involved in that. Metro says Cameron was a convicted felon and believed he was armed with high-powered guns. That is why they involved the SWAT team while trying to serve a warrant last night for a parole violation. During that delivery, Cameron began shooting at the SWAT team. We're told three members returned fire. All of them were supervisors. Two were lieutenants. One was a sergeant and all veteran members who had gone through extensive training on how to handle those types of situations. None were injured by the crossfire, but Metro says the TBI will be investigating uh, that use of force uh, from last night's shooting. Officers don't come to work at the begin beginning of the day uh, wanting to be engaged in a situation such as this, but from time to time it's part of the job. Uh, and these three SWAT members were forced tonight to use force on a man who had used extensive force in their direction. Well, Metro Police will continue their investigation into the homicide involving Evans and trying to find a suspect for that case. Back to you in the studio.